Hey friends, it's Mrs. Murphy and I am so excited. Today you get to meet another alpha friend. You already met my friend, Umbi the Umbrella. Remember, Umbi taught us that the letter U can make the short sound uh. But the letter U is a vowel. Do you remember what that means? You got it. That means it has two sounds. So today we're going to learn what the long sound is. But to do that, we're going to need to meet another alpha friend. So I'm going to need your help to call them out. On the count of three, you'll need to say, come on out, yuka ukulele. Are you ready? Cool. Ready? One, two, three. Come on out, yuka ukulele. There she is. Hey, Yuka. Aloha. All right. Yuka is here to teach us all about the long sound of the letter U. Right? Sure, but can I tell a joke first? Oh, well, I do think we have time for a joke. Let's hear it. How does a mermaid call her friends? Hmm. I don't know. I wonder what the mermaid did use. What is it? She used her shell phone. <laughs> a shell phone? Of course. Oh my goodness, I love that joke. Well, hey, Yuka, we got to get going soon. So can you tell us about the letter U? You already know it can say uh like an umbrella, but it can also make the long sound U like me. Yuka ukulele, long U says U. Can you make the long sound with me? Ready? U. Great job. Say, Yuka, do you have one of those songs for us to listen to? You bet. Oh boy, let's listen. The long sound of the letter U is the same as its name, U. Say it with me, U. Great job. When you're making the sound of the letter U, you stick out your lips a little, and they're a little bit more close than when you make the long O sound, and make the sound like this, U. Let's watch this girl as she makes this sound. U. U. Say the sound with me one more time. You. Great job. This is a cube. Say the word with me. Cube. Take a look at how the word cube is spelled. Say the sounds of cube with me. C. U. 
B, Q. The letter E didn't make a sound, but the letter E is still very important. In fact, it's a magic letter. It's magic because even though it doesn't make a sound, it has an important job. When that E is there, it tells the vowel, in this case, the letter U, to say its name. That's why we say cube, cube, and not cub, cup. Let's practice listening for the long U sound in words. I'll say the word, and you can help me say the sounds. When you get to the sound that says U, stand up. Are you ready? The first word is mute. Say the sounds, stand up for the long U. Mm -hmm. Mute. Mute. Let's try another word. You can sit down. The next word is mule. Say the sounds. Mm -hmm. Mule. Mule. Did you stand up for the long U? Sit down and let's try another one. The next word is cute. Say the sounds with me. Cute. Cute. Sit down and we'll try one more. Don't forget to stand up for the long U. The last word is fuse. All right, that's all for you today. I'll see you guys next time. If you liked this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.